What's up guys? Welcome back to Sundown Audio unofficial YouTube channel where we show you all the stuff that goes on behind the scenes here at Sundown Audio. My name's Derek and this is going to be another episode of Tech Time Thursday. Today I'm going to bring y'all a highly requested video and that's how to strap your amplifiers. First let me explain to you what strapping amplifiers is. So our amplifiers have a feature where you can take two amplifiers and strap or link them together to make them like one bigger amplifier. So let me take you over here to the test bench. I've already got a couple amps set up. Cut some light on for y'all. We got a pair of SAE 600s. I picked these just because they're small and easy to work with, easy to get here on the test bench and set them up. I've already got some of the wiring done. So let me get this camera set up still. We're gonna talk about how to strap these amplifiers. All right, so as you can see, I got the amps all laid out here. I've already got all the wiring done ahead of time. Just went ahead and saved time doing that. But first, I wanna talk about the owner's manual. Now, if you flip through the owner's manual that you should receive with your amplifier, every new amplifier will include an owner's manual. You're gonna to get to the page that's gonna talk about strapping your amplifiers. And it's gonna show you exactly how to do it. It's gonna show you how to set up the control side. It's going to show you how to run the RCA, how to set your master slave switch, and it's going to show you on the output side how you're going to link your speaker wires together and how you're going to run the speaker wires from the amplifiers to your speaker. One very important thing to notice, these amplifiers are rated to perform at no lower than one ohm individually. When you strap them as one big amplifier, they share that load. So when you strap them, you can't go any lower than two ohms. It's listed right here in your owner's manual. Because by them sharing the load, when you put two ohms to these pair of amplifiers, they share that and they each see one ohm, which is their lowest rated impedance. Now to go ahead and show you back here in the beginning of the owner's manual, we got all the SAE models listed. We're gonna go to the SAE 600. You got your four ohm rated power, two ohm rated power, one ohm rated power, all rated power as published, tested at 14.4 volts. You also have your two ohms linked or strapped. So when you strap a pair of these together at two ohms, it is rated 1000 watts at 14.4 volts. Cause these are gonna act like one big amp, give you that 1000 watts rating. Now since I've got these all hooked up here on the test bench, I do have them hooked up to the amp dyno. At the end of talking about how we do all this, we are going to make an amp dyno run. Alright, I'm going to start around here on this side of the amplifiers. Now we're set up. This is our master. This is our slave. There's going to be a switch down here. This is your bridge switch and it's going to have slave and master on it. So you see on this side, we have it flipped to master. On this side, we have it flipped to slave. And for your signal inputs, they're going to go into your master amp just like normal. The big difference is you are not going to run inputs into your slave like you normally would. Instead, you're going to use the output here, run a single RCA over into your slave amp. Because what happens is, as the slave amp, you don't have to set any of your controls. You just have to get that switch into slave mode. It'll automatically sync with your master amp and all of its controls from its crossover, gain settings, everything automatically sync to this one too, controls this one. So you don't have to worry about none of those extra controls on that slave amp. All right, so here we are on the really fun side. The side I think confuses a lot of people when strapping amplifiers. So we have our master here, our slave here. You're gonna hook up your power ground remote power ground remote just like you normally would on the master amp your positive output speaker output is going to go to your positive of your speaker here's where things start to change the negative speaker outputs on your master amp are going to jumper and I just have a couple 12 gauge jumpers here they're going to jump over to the negative speaker outputs on your slave amp then your slave amp the positive speaker outputs turn into negative 
and those outputs are going to go to the negative on your subwoofer. So let me explain to you what's going on. What I think most people don't understand is when you strap two amplifiers together, the, uh, they strap in series. So by strapping in series and then your slave amp gets turned 180 degrees out of phase, that's why it's positive output turns into a negative. So to go over it again, your master amplifier, positive speaker outputs go to the positive on your speaker, the negative speaker outputs from your master jumper to the negative speaker outputs on your slave, as you can see with my jumper here, then the slave that's now 180 degrees out of phase, its positive speaker outputs are now negatives, so those wires will be the negative wires going to your speaker. All this is listed in your owner's manual. There's an entire page of it. You can see here where it shows the negative getting jumped together. It even tells you 12 gauge jumper wire. That's the minimum that's recommended. Shows your positive from your slave amp going to the negative on your subwoofer and the positive from your master amp going to the positive on your subwoofer. If you don't have an owner's manual, if you bought your amplifiers new and they didn't come with one, you can contact us here at Sundown Audio. We can email you something like this. We can um, take a picture, send it to you. We'll get you a copy of that. I got everything laid out here on the screen. If you want to take a screenshot of this, take a picture to help you remember, try and mimic what I got going on here. It's real simple. Once you get the gist of it, just know that master, slave, they sink, they strap in series, slave gets turned 100 degrees out, 80 degrees out of phase, its positive output turns into negative. That's the biggest thing that confuses people that I've seen. So I've got them hooked up. These are the outputs going right to my amp dyno. Let's take the camera over the amp dyno, set it up. We're gonna do a run. All right, guys, I got everything set up, ready to go. We got the pair of SAE 600s sitting here. They are strapped. You can see my speaker wires here going to my amp dyno before somebody accuses me of cheating some more. We're gonna do a certified run, mono. And remember, because they're strapped, you can't go any lower than two ohms because they share that load. So at a two ohm strap, each amplifier is seeing one ohm. So here we go. Two SAE 600s strapped at two ohms, certified run. It is running. Let me try and get in close in case y'all can't see. And there we go. So certified at two ohms, 14.5 volts. We got 1,223 watts. And if we remember back to looking at the owner's manual, they're only rated 1,000 watts at 14.4. Here we are, certified, 1,223 watts. All right, I figure since we have them here, we'll just go ahead and run a few dyno runs. Um, let me try cutting that light off, see if it helps y'all see the screen better. So this time, let's do an uncertified run. Uncertified, two ohms. And here it goes. Looks like we squeaked a little bit more out there at the end. So the pair of SAE 600s strapped at two ohms, uncertified. We got 1,363 watts dropping to 14.1 volts. So of course I might as well run through them all. So here we go, dynamic. Uh, let's see, mono, two ohms. So this is gonna be a dynamic test. This is burst power. 
the SAE 600s, pair of them strapped at two ohms. All right, that looks like it. 1,463 watts, dynamic, 14.7 volts out of the pair of SAE 600s strapped at two ohms. All right, I figure what the hell, let's beat them up a little bit. Do not try this at home. This is a dynamic run. We're gonna go ahead and take it down to 1.3. So since these amps are strapped at 1.3 ohms, they're at 0.65 per amp. So this will be a 0.65 impedance per amplifier. All right, the dyno is running. Let's see what happens. There we go. 1,920 watts. That's 1,920 watts. Dynamic, 1.3 ohm strap. So that's 0.65 per amp. 14.6 volts. Do not try this at home. I highly recommend do not run your SAE amps below one ohm. So there you go guys, how to strap your amplifiers. Hopefully I covered everything good. If you have any questions, any concerns, let me know in the comments. Feel free to ask any questions. If I didn't explain something good enough, just let me know, tell me in the comments, ask your question, I will get back to you. Uh, let me know what you think about the SAE 600s. Let me know what you think about that power. Rated a thousand watt strap, saw it go over 1200 watts almost 2000 watts dynamic get a little lower impedance don't try that at home so uh if you like what we're doing here on the channel don't forget to click that thumbs up button give us a like subscribe share remember giveaways to come more and more of them as the channel grows until next time see y'all then